When we started our agency in 1949, we came in with a point of view, and it was different from any other agency that existed at that time. Let us prove to the world that good taste, good art, good writing can be good selling. Bill Birnbeck is how I got into advertising. I was at art school, I thought I was going to be the next Picasso, but that was a kind of, came to me as a bit of a blow and that wasn't going to happen. And it was whilst I was at design school, um, I had this wonderful teacher, a man called John Gillard, who showed me, and this is, I'm now talking about 63, 64, showed me the work of uh, Dulden Birnbeck, the Volkswagen campaign. And it was like a light had been sort of thrown in a darkened room. Suddenly the whole room was alight and I could see exactly what I wanted to do. And I remember that moment and I looked at this work and I just thought it was brilliant. When I worked as a reporter in Boston, I went to Boston Public Library and looked up the Doyle Dane ads in the annuals. And at the time, I had no idea what I was looking at. I didn't know anything about advertising. I just looked at this stuff and went, wow, it would be fun to be in this business. Mamma mia, that's a spicy meatball. Cut. In many ways, Bill Birnbach is the reason I'm in the business. Certainly, it's the influence of the quality of publicity created by Bill Birnbach. A publicidade brasileira não teria sido tão importante. E hoje não haveria o mínimo motivo para vocês estarem pedindo a alguém que nasceu no Brasil e que fala português falar da publicidade do Bill I was uh, going to junior college, I was taking art classes, and then I discovered the work of a man and a company, Doyle Dane Birnbeck, and started seeing the intelligence and the uh, creativity that this business called advertising is about. It looks like a man named Bill Birnbeck has made it pretty respectable to, to be in that business. My two favorite campaigns, and it's hard to pick between them, are the uh, Volkswagen campaign and the Avis campaign. They're both underdog campaigns in a way. You know, they took products that didn't really work, that weren't number one in the marketplace, and suddenly made them seem like they were the best thing in the world. The Alka-Seltzer work that was done by Doyle and Birnbeck still, you know, has to be in the annals of advertising history, some of the most special, unique pieces of communication ever done. Poached oysters. What love doesn't conquer, Alka-Seltzer will. Mas, particularmente, sendo simplista, se eu tivesse que escolher três campanhas favoritas feitas pela Doyle and Birnbeck, elas seriam as campanhas da Volkswagen, Da Volkswagen, da Volkswagen. Have you ever wondered how the man who drives a snowplow drives to the snowplow? To be known for one campaign is really something that's, that's quite outstanding, especially if that campaign um, is Volkswagen. The Volkswagen Carmen Ghia is the most economical sports car you can buy. It's just not the most powerful. In fact, Daldane created other groundbreaking campaigns that really, you know, have an impact even today. The Jamaica Tourist Board was a fantastic campaign in just the way that was created and the way that was thought through. It roars. It giggles. I think uh, much of the work done for El Al, uh, the Israeli airline, was truly outstanding. In fact, we, I worked on the account in London. Um, and the strategy that you were doing here in New York, we just picked straight up and did our version of it. Um, so, you know, there was, it wasn't just a, a you know, a one-off. You know, I'm very dubious, I'm very suspicious of agencies that are really known for one thing. Because, I mean, you know, anybody can get lucky. Um, it's people who can keep repeating that luck by showing that they've got something which is deeper, which is more kind of uh, thought out. I don't think that it would be an overstatement to say that Bill Birnbach had an effect on us that was similar to uh, other people in his time, like Norman Mailer, um, Andy Warhol. He is the father of modern advertising. And I think that what Birnbeck represented is a kind of completely new way of talking to people, a way which kind of uh, captured their imagination. They actually wrote advertising and designed advertising that spoke to you the way that you speak to yourself inside your head. When you drive fast, remember, this is how it is. So what he gave us was a kind of a, a whole new uh, vocabulary of how to actually create advertising. 
Birnbach proved that you could go out, you could tell the truth, you could be honest, and you could convince people. And it's that, I think, is the legacy that he's going to leave the advertising industry. And it's a legacy that it's, it's an outstanding one to leave. All of the agencies that, of course, spun out of uh, Doyle Dane Birnbach and the people who work there are now a famous list as long as you're on. I think any agency that, that, that puts a, a, an art director and a writer in a room together and says, create something which is going to stimulate somebody's imagination is, is going back to the inheritance that they've, uh, they've taken from, from Bill Birnbach. So, uh, you know, the list is huge. Bill Birnbach is my ultimate hero in the business that we're in. Bill Birnbach is the father and inventor of all the Washington's Olivetos, of all the John Haggarts, of all the Lee Klaus that have 